out of Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City police continue the search tonight for a teen they say shot and injured another teen. Now, that, the incident happening this evening at Meadows Park. That's where we find ABC 4's Courtney Johns. And Courtney, what's the latest out there? Glenn and Emily, it's pretty quiet here now, but earlier police say they had to shut down several areas looking for the two teens that they said had guns, including one that they are still looking for at this time. Police believe at least three teens were involved in this, including the victim. Authorities believe they got in some kind of fight around 6 this evening, with two of them pulling out guns. That's when police say the shooting started. Bringing in dogs and several patrol cars, police say they found at least found one teen at a nearby apartment. Department. Police say they also brought in the gang unit because they believe this incident may have been gang related. They say securing this area was difficult because of how busy this area is. One of the big challenges that we had was making sure that we had enough officers in this area to make sure that we could tell people to get inside safely. It's just so that there wasn't any issues. So we wanted to make sure that the community was safe. We had a large response just to ensure the community safety. And on top of this being a busy area, this park is right next to Meadowlark Elementary, which you can see the windows behind me right there. Authorities aren't releasing much information on the teens, including the suspect, but they do say they know who that suspect is, and they hope if they're watching that they turn themselves in. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Courtney Johns, ABC4 News.